Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Let's Play. I'm your host for the day, your ghost host with the most, but I'm not a ghost, I'm a skeleton. Ooh, bones, and we're doing jazz punk. Let me turn it down just a tiny bit here, because it's loud as shit. But uh, this was a Adult Swim game that came out a while ago. Uh, some of you still don't know about this game. It fell under your radar. Uh, so we're just going to play it. It's got a lot of humor in it. I haven't played it in quite a while. I beat it years ago. When this first came out, I got it. Uh, I believe, anyway. You got it from there on a Humble Bundle sale. I don't quite remember, but I do know that I liked it quite a bit. Um, and it was a very interesting game. And uh, I really dug the humor in it, for one thing. Uh, it's got a really weird sense of humor. If you like Adult Swim, you would like this, because I believe this is actually an official Adult Swim game, I want to say. Um, this, this is giving you some sort of seizure, and I apologize profusely, I do. And that's not like a joke, either. I don't... It's not, not my thing is to give any way so we're just going to skip that. If y'all want to see all that cool intro, you can watch it yourself. I already see if you don't want to go there. It's pretty obvious, I think, where you want to go. On Darlington Street. It's pretty much like you only open up the door, I think. There is some... There are a few other things, too, I think, that are like little Easter eggs in this game. Um, that are around. Basically, what they did is, for people who bought this... I thought this was pretty funny. VR guide instead of sports guide. Readers digestive organs. Soak. So it's like in a. Uh, and this one is play bot. Low gauges. High voltages. Get it there instead of a. Yeah, you get it. You have to forgive me there. I had to. There's a lot of weird humor in this. It reminds me a bit of Ren and Stimpy mixed with a few other things. A 12-track lithium disc player? I would totally get that car. That's how everybody looks in this game, by the way. They look like they're cardboard, and I, uh, I actually really dug that. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna go in. Now, this is Please, important. I'll say, we march business to the sky. Basically, we need you to infiltrate the Soviet consulate. They've taken some of our important technology, and it's imperative that we get it back in the right hands. As per usual, here's your mission or subscription. Don't type too many. So you will take the mission off. Start your mission. Um, which I also find funny. So, here's what I need to do. Infiltrate the Soviet consulate. Obtain the cartridge. Easy enough, right? So where did our director actually go? There. He's right there. Drunk as can be. Um, anyways, there's really not much else to do here. I'm John Doe. You can cancel every mission or until reality is officially augmented. Uh, in real life, kids, don't take random pills like this. That is your public service announcement for me. But anyways, so apparently they went and redid this, and what they did has made it, uh, more, uh, vast in terms of humor well, missions. Okay, I love you, bye-bye. 
Yeah, the whole game is like this, by the way. It's it's one of the weirder games I've played, but I enjoy it quite a bit. Alright, okay. Believe in yourself. You see what they did there? Well, now if I remember right, they changed a few things, but I, I don't know. Oh, that's got secret agent all over it, doesn't it? Did you guys see that? Let's see what they did there. So, yeah, there are jokes everywhere in this game. Some are funny, some suck, but most are pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, there are a few that suck. If I remember right. I don't have a phone number to call you. My eyes. Yes, that just happened. I don't know what happens if I step on it. I'll try it. Can I step on it? Oh, I leave footprints behind. I, I don't recall doing that before, but maybe I always have. I just never noticed it. I don't know. But anyways, this is actually an uh, interesting little game. Do you have MacGuffin? Come back when you've got MacGuffin. Okay, apparently I need the MacGuffin. Now, first steps first, we're going to at least look at the consulate. You have insufficient security clearance. I like his weird robot. Uh, oh. Pipes that are fired. Get it? Because he comic sans, so. God, this guy's just on, yay. Look at that. I'm afraid I must ask you of princess. I'm afraid you don't have an appointment. <laughs> Alright, we are to be going now. Do I have an inventory? I want to say I have an inventory, I think. We're going to save here, first of all. We get our objectives. Mission objectives. Acquire the cartridge. Mission to escape. Okay. I think I just showed that poor guy to death, but... It'll be cold as, a, as an agent, baby. Uh, I'm pretty sure you stole my laptop. Mm? Oh, pizza. Pizza is good. Mind your back, space crap. You gotta get your own peanut butter. You gotta look behind you. Okay. So there's a pizza thing. Taking feature next slide. Enjoy! What is this? I don't recall this. Maybe I should. Oh god. That is funny. It's literally a pizza zombie. Oh yeah. It's a pizza game you never knew you needed. I think they could have probably sold this as a humorous game. Just like all the mini games along with one game, but I don't I like that they Oh I can headshot them with this. That did nothing. Okay. It's still easier to kill with this one. I don't have a life meter it seems. Uh I don't think you all understand my my love for pizza. Despite looking Russian, as somebody once told me, I'm actually Italian, and I very much like pizza. But apparently, um, but since I am working out again, pizza and me do not love each other because pizza is very fatty and filled with cheese. And as some of you may know, if you work out, you don't eat a lot of cheese, if any. 
when you work out. Which is kind of goofy to me. To me, that's more just to be cut. Uh, I prefer to be of a healthy workout, so I try not to have to do that. Oh, pizza, no pizza, makes pizza, pizza. It's like evil, but... That was amazing. I don't really recall that. I don't know if that was in the other one or not, but if it was... I feel like this would just go on forever. You can unlock an achievement. Anything I get for this, I don't know. But I feel like by now, if I was going to, I probably should have. Yeah, there's nothing. Maybe there is, I don't know. What happens if I just knock in the air? If you knock in the air, you say, nope. However, type 2. Okay, that means it's driving me up nuts. Let's get a go. Congratulations, you're the way to inspect this garbage. Really? Really? Thank you. It does make you feel a little accomplished, though, doesn't it? Hey! I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy that to do things like that just for... Just for your amusement, this game does a lot of good things. Hey. Take this decouser. Use it to scramble three carrier frequency pigeons. Hit each pigeon three times in order to decouse it. Okay, so E. How about if I decouse it in? It is literally a... What else can I degoss? Anything? Just run around degossing things. I got a partition. Goes like this. Get it? Got a partition. Oh, you crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that paper now. When it floats, page 62. I like that that's all the way back there. The rest of it's fine, you know. That's that's the big one. She just does the same thing, apparently. I was curious to see if she changed. Do gossing fix anything? Does it do fixing, or is it just that? Closed for no reason. These are honest. Gun fishing. See it? See what they did there? It's a computer joke, guys. Well, most of you know that. The pigeons are all over here, so we're gonna be gossiping. Gotcha, bitch. I'm not paying for that. So let's go around the city. I place my organs in a Faraday cage for just such an occasion. Sneaky. Sneaky. I got you out there, Agents. Oh, there's a thicket. You son of a bitch. I'll get you, Pigeon. Don't you worry. Don't worry, Peta. They're robotic pigeons, I believe. They are not uh, standard pigeons. They're robotic ritual pigeons. I'm sure New Yorkers would be like this still pigeons, but still. What happens after I get all three? 
Anything? Got one. Got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. So we got some more inventory from a pigeon, so getting them actually does do something, eh? One down. Let's look around here again. Just gonna go around to gossing everybody, leaving a whole weight of madness and despair and destruction. I think I'm a little too excited, and this game doesn't know what to do with me. I feel like I need that. I feel like I could also get smacked. Player sexually harasses news box. No, I did. Assuming that's what the dude does. Uh, so yeah, I feel like this is a weird ass game. What is that? No! Oh no, that's not good. That is not good. Good for you. No way. Hello, my name is Johnny. Nice try. Gotcha, bitch. I prefer pheromones. I suppose that does answer the question. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, ne never, never get out of the garage. I'm all here, it's Roger. Are you serious? Look at his little face! No! Look at his icon! Do you, see? <laughs> Do you see his lower icon, guys? He actually has the, uh, the thing, too. His little- OH MY GOD! We're so close. We're closer than we were, at least. There we go. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. You gotta be effing kidding me. Now I gotta get him all the way back across, really. I feel like the middle gives me the best chance, so we're just gonna take it. We got it, Frog. We did it. We did it. That's crazy. Could I always be a frog, please? Just, that would just isn't literally amazing. Although I don't know how well somebody would really be able to. Could, like, could you do that? Could you all uh, eat like that? Not eat like that, but I'm not gonna lie though. It would make uh, eating 
Chinese food fun, right? So they're needing these chopsticks. Uh, yeah, you do whatever it is drugs you. With Wi-Fi passwords, I suppose. Um, no, I, I... People give me shit a lot because I use... Um, chopsticks. I like Chinese food, and they're like, Oh, well, do you think, you know... You're doing that just to be trendy? And I'm like, no, not really. I just... Oh, adult swim, please don't make this anything weird that I am going to get in trouble for. Okay. Somebody actually made this back in the day. I love that it's literally just a commercial. Um, honestly, there's a lot you can do in this, just on this first- This is literally still just the first mission, guys. No, I'll keep none of my food to myself. That was amazing. I saw a product I did not know I ever needed, and now I want it. <laughs> I don't know what you would do with it, but I, I totally want one. Why would you not want a swing ding? They're a wing ding, or whatever the hell that ad said. Whatever they are, I, now I need one. I'm convinced that my life could somehow be enhanced with a swing... Swing ding, was it? Swing ding, wing ding. Whatever the hell it is, I need it now. I know a bitch, I gotcha. There it is over there. See you guys? Okay, nab it. Like this is duck hunt all over again. Without that horrible laughing dog, that effing demon. That demon. No, I need to get sir. I like that thing. That thing was fun. Uh, no, I think... The product kind of thing, you know what it reminds me of a bit, honestly? The fuck did I step in? Oh, I stuck on the pigeon, so it pooped on me. What a dick. Uh, no, I believe he was this way, wasn't he? No, he had to be down further, because that's the type he's playing. Alright. There he is. Thanks for collecting the pigeons. This is my Mima's secret pigeon pot pie recipe. Oh my god. Kids never do this. It's funny in a game, but never actually harm an animal like that. Just like Mima used to make. I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. Ah, uh, it burns. Ah. Uh, I have fourth degree burns all over my entire I face. I if you keep talking, um, it just burns. keeps going. Oh, well, that was an interesting little mission. Am I turning you on? Got it. Is she turning you on? Oh my god. It's just essence of pigeon. You, uh, you enjoy that, buddy. Listen. Borrowing your, borrowing your money there. Have I done this one? I don't remember. Wondering what the hell I'm actually looking for at this point. I'm trying to figure out where that um, the video game for the point. Really, really, the 
the game just glowed at me. Uh, that was an earthquake. You know, I just saw the ground shake right there. I think that's like my imagination there. Cute. Dress punk the game already. I guess I have what I need. Or do I? We have burned his face sufficiently. Um, let's find a way into the consulate now that we've done all this nonsense. I feel like this is gonna be a long let's play full of nonsense right here. Um, but hopefully you all still find it amusing. I need to get into the consulate, and I'm not gonna lie, I think that is not why. This guy here is seriously needs to fuck off. Aha! Now they bought 10 biscuits, so they made like... The biscuits? Let's wiggle it just a little bit. That's what I was hoping for right there. See you, bitches. Okay, that was amazing. But no, see, there are little touches like this that I really like about this game. Are you serious? I can freaking play this in it? Oh, shit. I should be better at this, actually. I was an Atari gamer. Sadly, I remember playing this at the arcade. I cannot tell you... There was actually a kid who sucked at this, who... Is me today, apparently. But yeah, there was another kid that used to be really, really bad at this, my friend. Uh, June. He was Korean. His name was June. I'm not saying his last name because the internet's full of crazy ass people. Um, and he no longer lives in Michigan, as I understand it. He just went back to Korea, but do miss the guy. He was a cool kid, man. I felt bad because. To tell you how funny it is, in a way, um, you all remember the Goonies. Well, everybody in our neighborhood was like, oh, June, that looks like you. Nowadays, it's like, that's kind of fucking racist. You can't just tell an Asian person another random Asian person looks like them because they're Asian. You know what I mean? But nobody, nobody thought of it then, so it wasn't considered weird or... It's not like I tried to explain to somebody one time about Monster Squad. Now, if you remember Monster Squad, you will know that there is a scene in it where the kid calls the principal a word I will not say uh, here, because YouTube is very sensitive to these things, Lord knows. They've been sensitive to just about everything. Brilliant. Um, literally to the point of being... Well, I think it's fucking creepy then, isn't it? Okay, so come back with the cartridge. Alright, the cartridge! I got it, I got it. Fire alarm and ice alarm. That's a secret room I've ever really seen one, right? <laughs> Are you serious? Did that joke just happen? <laughs> it's got my ass scooted all the way down the hall there. That's pretty funny. These scoots are pretty funny word, isn't it? 
garbage chute. I'm not leaving until I get the shit that I need from that lab. Where are we? Did I really just do that? Apparently I did. Cute. Cute. There it must be. Right. It's always at the damn bottom, isn't it? I got the goods, people. I ought to... Pardon me that it took me so long to do this mission, but I really wanted to show you guys around this game. Uh, when I first got this game, it cracked me up. I thought it was very funny. I still do. seem to have afforded him a particularly valuable artificial kidney. Estimated value on the rare market over 25 billion yen. We need you to extract this from him at any cost. Right. Improvise. I know you'll do well by me. But if you don't mind, I've got a landline to install. So, this is our man, Flo. At the restaurant, and he's uh, just chilling up in there. So let's take our mission on. Can we do it, guys? Is this going to be as crazy as the last one? I hope so. Uh, I notice. I think they put more in here for me to do in this game. Because I want to say originally, I don't remember him. Um. Or her, or whoever you are in this game, being able to do as much in that first level. And I actually hope all the levels are like that, where it's just a bunch you can do. So it'd be fun. Okay. I feel like if I got to pick my voice in another life, I want his voice. Very deep. Very like. I know I basically sound like Kermit the Frog on acid, let's be honest here. I do not have a very man. Polite to ask a lady her weight. Yeah. Never ask a lady her fun weight, people. You should know better. Hugo, are you ready for it? Are you ready for your dad joke for the day, guys? Uh, miss missing out on virus meds, fruit drink. Virus. Uh, let's grab a virus. Oh my god. This is a big mistake. Help! Space madness! Do y'all know about that? Oh, that's probably not good for me, is it? Yeah, 
Keep his as H. Hey! I feel like that would actually be a good life advice to not overclock your underwear. I hope that's his own bike he's being on, because otherwise that's kind of a jerk move, isn't it? Warning, do not EA. Oh, I thought it was a cup of tea, but it's just a ladder floating in cyberspace or something. I'm actually trying not to be if I can help it, just because uh, they pretty much killed the Sims franchise. I get shit for that every time I say that, but I'm sticking to that, damn it. Most of you don't even know what the Sims is based on, but I'm old enough to know. They're pulling a, a Jurassic Park reference. I really wish they would have followed it up with an actual T Rex just randomly running down the street. That would have been funny. Yamate. What is your business here? Any business I want? I'm a secret agent, baby. That definitely was not in the original that I'm aware of. Maybe it was. I don't think it was, though. I was supposed to follow the cowboy and did not. So what am I doing? I really don't know, to be honest with you. I always knew crows bird. I actually had a pet crow for a while. And let me give you all some serious advice about crows, if you do decide you want to have one as a pet, do not try to cage a crow. Um, they need at least a room a room for themselves. I used to have a quote unquote pet crow, but to be honest with you, it was basically... It was probably more like the crow was my um, buddy instead of a Mr. Drifters, talk to punks, do the heist, get away. Alright. The crow is probably more... Ah, uh, I see, this is Shadow Run, is what they've done here. I'm Cassette, and this is my elite crew of fat ass motherfuckers. I like they have literally done that. I hate corporations. I'll print your death certificate. I'm Cynthia. I crack Wi-Fi and I break hard. Jesus H, that's funny. I know some of you are like, hey, there was just a bit of nudity there. They're robots. They're not human. They don't even have genitalia. So relax. The game still falls under PG rating. Trust me. Hey everyone, look at me. I'm inside of a computer. Uh, people always ask me, Hey, what do you carry around in that bin lever? I'm not gonna lie, that was literally the most frustrating NPC in this game, because I I kinda wanted to know what he carried in his bin after he asked me. Or rather, after he told me, people asked him, I wanted to know what the hell was in his bindle, but now I don't know. And now I feel like, all day, I'm gonna wonder what the fuck is in his bindle. Thanks, buddy. He doesn't do anything, that guy. Alright, so he's, he's not much help. Um, I'm just gonna walk in here. Hi, see you. I have my eye on you. I don't like you. The feeling's a mutual dickweed. Alright. Now, uh... Why did I come in here? I don't know. I don't think this is part of my main mission. I think I have somehow... went into a side mission somewhere. 
the money laundry. Uh, this is locked up. Replicant, while you wait. Cute. Very cute. When in doubt, I always follow the outer perimeter of a map around. Uh, this is very Shadowrun feeling, though, I'll tell you that. If they, like, did a sequel to Jazz Punk and made the whole game look like this, I would definitely be getting it, because uh, this is cool looking. But, uh, I don't really understand what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't trust you. Let me see your identification. Okay, so I need to go get identification. So again, objectives. Talk to punks, do the heist, get away. Uh, this is a side mission, definitely. So, I don't know where the fuck the heist is even. Oh! Alright, well thank you, you know, for that. Really just full of human bones. Hey, Ma, look at me. I'm in the internet. Now, I don't need to wonder what's in his bundle. He just told us. So that's good. Because, right, seriously, have you ever had somebody do that? The one that kills me is when you'll have somebody who starts to talk to you about something. Um, I... <laughs> and then just stops, like I did with the crow thing. See how I did that earlier? Okay, I got let's... an idea. Let's go rob that bank. Alright, I'm in. So first off, we're gonna need some sneezeware to crack their security system. Sneezeware it is, miss. Um... Now... As I said, uh, what you will need if you are honestly considering keeping a crow... I just used to have one that I fed as it came around the patio daily and stayed outside. I never caged it or anything, um, they're actually insanely intelligent animals. They can remember where they store food up to two years later, and if you don't believe me, feel free to Google that, but I can tell you right now it's true. Um, I've seen it. Alright, let's assemble this bad boy. Please tell me that you carry this thing. That is awesome. Okay, so you got the sneeze wear. Yes. Next up, you need to load with the virus. Okay. Uh, I'll be back with the virus. I'm guessing that's what this is. Alright, do that. Oh, alright. Vacuuming your virus. Vacuuming. Vacuuming. Well, I've looked all over the world, and it's every time. Alright. I don't know if we actually... I don't know if we can get away with sing Billy Idol on this channel. We're that poor. We're that poor, folks. We can't even afford to sing Billy Idol without probably owing him royalties, so let's just stop that there. Unless Billy Idol gives me permission, in which case I will be very grateful and high five him on top of it, because it's Billy Friggin' Idol. There are very few people as tough and as cool looking as Billy Idol back then. That much I can tell you. Um, I still like Billy Idol, I think he's awesome. But I was ready to crack vault security. Yes, I am. Deploy the virus. Crash the system. Okay. Right, I'll be right back. Let me just go and check the security. Hi guys, how are you? Look what I have. My eyes. I didn't see you. Stop. Nope. I am defeated. Hostiles identify my eyes. Welcome to Burroughs Casual Bound Access. Illegal operation detected. What? 
That's funny as hell. Oh my god. Grab it. Grab it off. I seen them before taxes. I think it's funny that they really put that in there. Oh, okay. I just press E on all of it. And after taxes, this is gonna be I I already know what else wins. This is gonna end up being like a dollar after taxes or something funny like that. Um, although, yeah, taxes take a bunch of your money for like guys, so... If you ever want to see something depressing, look at your check before taxes. And then look at it after. And then weep. Oh, I can suck them up! Bring it! Bring it! I'm out! Awesome. Alright, now just open the door. Polly Blank? Polly Blank, let me in! What the hell, Polly Blank? <laughs> That's a dick move right there, but that is funny. So guys, that wasn't even part of your main mission. That was literally like a fake mission right there. That's how much there is to do in this game now, so yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this one. Follow the cover, extract the wetware. Wetware in this case would happen to be... Did not follow the cowboy, but I get it, I know, I get the feeling of where the cowboy's going. Oh, you crazy! Hey, it's our buddy again. Kind of. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, so you're gonna need outdoors. Um, just some food, just be nice to the crow. And I honestly think that you'll be alright. I wouldn't have guessed those were gonna be my shoes, but I should have. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. No entrance, trees. Okay, there's a cowboy. See, she looks so good, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Okay, so spiders. I want spiders. Fucking A. Ugh. Not gonna lie. That literally made, that made me jump for a minute there. There's always a spider in the restroom, right? Now, in real life... Spiders would usually kill each other at this rate because they would, uh, they don't play. Spiders are cannibals by nature and they're territorial. So, five of them in the same jar wouldn't usually really happen, but, um, yeah. And in case you think I'm making this shit up, I used to be arachnophobic and learned a lot about spiders. From the fact that relax, lady. I'm just looking for spider. Oh god! Dig on my friend here. I don't know why I need an entire bear of spider. Suppose I found. Suppose I was there. I don't know why I need a bear of spiders. I'm curious about that. Also, I am terrified of spiders. These spiders. Those. Should I talk to him? Can I talk to him? I don't think I'm supposed to actually talk to the cowboy. I think I'm just supposed to. Those actually remind me a lot of wolf spiders, which are, uh... Not horribly poisonous to no, themselves. Do I? I have been defiled. Murder. Please to call hospital. I like that I'm using a food as a weapon. I'm going to call it the six. I'm going to the same I'm going to tell you guys best you get. Doesn't even it doesn't even mess with him. They don't play here, I don't tell it's just Fogo. Okay. You know they actually let me keep my shoes on. So I'm getting some idea what I need to do here, guys. 
with some broken preparation and flash sorrow counter thoroughly. It would be great if I could actually talk in complete sentences today. I do apologize, guys. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me here. I'm a little hungry, actually, I think. Uh, after this let's play, I will make some food. I don't know what. It is truly really does indeed like, uh... Nice. Yours truly likes to cook a lot. One of my favorite things is pasta. Uh, give me a comment. How would you all feel about us doing a cooking segment in our channel? Along with everything else we do. Um, I'm still trying to work out the details, and it's up to you two. I haven't heard back from them. Dude, I don't know if you want that liver now, buddy. That sounds gross. Did he run into the woman's restroom? Of course he did. You have yourself a wonderful evening. He left a colorful mess, didn't he? Would you like me to wrap that up for you? Enjoy your night! Yep. What happens if he uses something? Oh, okay. Hand over the wetware, and we won't do something ridiculous. I can only pay a red book value for this organ. Game, I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually eating it. You stabbed me right in my eye. I hate this job. <laughs> I'm guessing that was probably a wrong person to stab, but oh well. Guess my friend the crow who loves me. Wait a minute, here he is. This actually looks a lot like horse dung. Some sort of animal dung, does it not? No achievement for this? Really? Alright, Dubs. It's on you now to step it up a little there. That's, uh, that's pretty lazy. Said falling jokes. Clearly, I'm supposed to be there. Oh, what, what, are, what is this here? Look off with the pal. Oh, he's a dick. Oh, 
How am I going to complete this mission? Praying Mantis is selling uh, lemonade. Because of course it is. I guess take it. Take a lemon. You're a praying mantis. I don't know what the hell that was, but I know I did not do it. Aha! Uh -huh. No, I think we're getting somewhere. I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. But just for you viewers. Oh. There you go. Um, anyways, as I was saying, we had a Not Safe for Work Let's Play channel, and, uh, Two uh, videos on it and you too. To the ultimate wrestling match. Oh yeah. You think you got what it takes to Are you effing kidding me? Psycho Johnny Mania. This is a real thing. this is a real thing. I do I know this was not in the original. That's even mean G no coming. If, if and now make, entering the rings, a new challenger, Polly Black. That is amazing. I love the eighties looking thing. Ten-time heavyweight world champion, Psycho Mania. How could go wrong trying to fight somebody else? What do you intend to do to Polly Black? My ten inch guns got your name on them. Ooh, I am Johnny Psycho Ten Inch Gun Mania. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The insane rantings of a madman. And you, Polly Blank, do you have any words for Mr. Psychopath? <laughs> It says Kali folding chair blank. Are you kidding me? I know what to do now. I know what to do now. Alright, sucker. This is gonna be delicious. Time to give me the old rock and roller, motherfucker. Oh, that's gonna hurt. in the fucking ring with him again? Huh? Yeah, I know I'm gonna. What the fuck, Captain? He threw me all the way out of the ring. That was insane. Look at him. I'm behind the friggin'. So I need to move. Really. Get out of the way. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on. You can do it, Polly Blank. Day for the world of professional wrestling. That's all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in tomorrow for I had the feeling I would have unlocked an achievement if I would have got that. But... The back for more no, I'm not. No, we're not. I'm trying to get the hell back to the train station. Okay, we're not. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and need you to come in on Sunday, Peter. I should have expected this. I am not drinking that trick. 
You have fun, uh, you have fun with that, sir. It looks to me like that's all that's up here, guys. I was kind of hoping for an alternate escape route. Something good there, but that did not happen. But we're still gonna try it. Let me see something else. Oh god. That was a waste. That was a waste. If I remember right, back in the day I could actually just use a... There was a bowling thing. And this came in handy too. Clearly not that. There is a way to get past this level, I'm pretty damn sure. It. Without giving them the wet wear. Clearly pissing everybody in the streets off. That's good. But I really don't remember what I'm doing. So anyways, I'll probably leave it here. Because uh, I don't remember what the hell I'm supposed to do right now. And until I do... These guys are friggin' everywhere, man. Uh, there's really not much point in me trying to continue this, is there? I say that as I keep playing. So, from me, from Bones, and all of us here, we wish you guys a happy day. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy your evening. I'm going to say this here. This has been Jazz Punk that you've been watching me play. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if we should or should not do a cooking show as part of our YouTube variety thing. Would you guys like to see me teach you how to cook some of the dishes that I have always enjoyed growing up? Um, my version of pasta. Uh, chili, a few other things that I will throw together, like gumbo, and maybe uh, some jambalaya, red beans and rice, a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, uh, we will catch you all later. You guys enjoy your day.